<laughs> Hello, everyone. I think I said something when I did the Super Mario World Hacks 101 walkthrough that went something like that. I was going to do more Super Mario World ROM hacks in the future, but they wouldn't be like a regular thing because I didn't want them to take over my channel and make it look like that. that's the only thing that I play, or I should say the majority of what I play, because that's not me as a gamer, I play a whole variety of games, but ever since then I haven't played another one. <laughs> so here is me playing another one. Hopefully I'll be able to do this save state list too, because this game is really, really hard. It's known as the Second Reality Project Reloaded. It's a remake of the first Second Reality Project, which if you're not into ROM hacks, you probably haven't heard of. But if you have heard of the original, you've probably heard of this as well. So I don't know why I'm even bothering to explain that. <laughs> anyway, look into it yourself if you would like to. I'm gonna link to the stuff and stuff in the description regarding this. But anyway, let's get a new game started here. Cutscene, Mario. I found a new power source, which let me rebuild my airship fleet. It's almost finished, so prepare to surrender. Never. Never. And the cutscene's over. <laughs> anyway, first level, Echoes of Birabuto. I'm pretty sure that this level is a joke remake of Super Mario Land stuff, and did I just do that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's a great story, but yeah, anyway. Um, the reason why I think this is a joke level is because um, the creator FPI said this hack is all about the level design, and to have some sort of like remake thingamabob here, <laughs> you know, there's, there's something fishy about that. <laughs> Anyway, there's a secret there if you'd like to get coins. Coins are sort of kind of boring, but admittedly, I will probably need the lives if I'm going to play the save stateless. <laughs> oh, and I'm also assuming that you know how to play Super Mario World already because you're playing uh, Super Mario World Hack. So yeah, I'm not really bothering to explain the controls or the mechanics and stuff like that. I'm just sort of going and going and going as I go rather than taking time as I usually do. By the way, custom enemies too! Yeah, it blows up! <laughs> well, that was the uh, enemy in the um, Super Mario Land, but yeah, yeah, it, should, yeah. <laughs> it's, it wasn't in Super Mario World is what I'm saying here. Anyway, another secret to be found here. And we're done. <laughs> Yep, just these little coin secrets here and there for kicks, I suppose. And we're already coming down to the end of the level, that's... I I'm sorry, I, I kind of feel bad for squishing you. <laughs> Let's kill everything else, though, with a star. Not not the fighter flies, though, at least I think that's their name, fighter flies, if I'm not, not mistaken. No, no, I'm not gonna kill you, I felt bad for killing you in such a way before. And I think, no, oh, there wasn't anything else to kill, was there? But yeah, anyway, <laughs> the end of the level is here. And I don't, I don't think there's like a hit, invisible block here. I haven't been able to find anything regarding that, so I highly doubt you'll be able to, to get to the very top of the gold tape here. <laughs> anyway, first level complete. Oh, another reason why I think this is sort of a joke level is because it doesn't lead anywhere. <laughs> In fact, other stuff leads back to it. Anyway, next level, Mole Ruins number one. So this is a place with a clear reference to... <laughs> I think it's one, two of uh, Super Mario World, where you grab a shell, throw it across the Koopas, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's that's how it worked, and yeah. <laughs> You're gonna see a lot of... Um, similar uh, similarities to um, the original Super Mario World because initially this hack was um, well it, it still is to an extent I shouldn't say was it's it's um, it modded the levels to certain extents and uh, oh I need to get up there there's a secret up here <laughs> it modded the levels to certain extents but some figments remain like the uh, overworld and the uh, certain elements of the levels and I gotta stop holding the run button when I hit a P switch. <laughs> 
always got to remember to stop holding the run button when you hit a peace switch. And yep, more coins for bonus classic Mario stuff. And believe it or not, a Switch Palace hidden within a level. Yeah, there aren't regular Switch Palaces around in, in uh, this hack. What you got to do is find them in levels. And uh, the indicator for this is a rather large dot on the map. See, regular dot down here, large dot up here. Got it? Good. We're going back in, because we have another exit to find. That obviously just led to just simply the, uh, what am I even saying here? <laughs> it just led to the Switch Palace and nowhere else. There we go. For some reason, I couldn't spit it out. Oh, and uh, yellow blocks contain mushrooms every time you are able to hit them, so whoops. <laughs> so yeah, uh, they are nice for a quick power up if you can, uh, uh, I mean, if you activate them and find them along the way, and oh, no, nope, not going to happen. And now we're going to take the regular route down. Oh, geez, I almost fell in the hole. <laughs> that wouldn't have been too pretty, since I probably wouldn't have reacted properly with Yoshi. You know, oops, doing a Yoshi jump off of it. Come back here. There we go. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm a little bit rusty on uh, Super Mario. Oh, Super Mario World in general, because... Um, I haven't played it in a while, but I'm, I'm still pretty adept in platformers, so it's just a matter of me getting my feel back for the game and whatnot, so yeah. So, uh, uh, mm, mm, uh here's where the ruins really live up to their name. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Power up! Even though I don't really need it in all honesty at this moment in time, because the game is really easy this early on, but believe me, it does get... A lot harder later on and over here we uh, would normally have to use the the blue blocks to whack these suckers for one-ups but mm, yeah that's pretty dangerous <laughs> actually not much came out of those things was there like a sprite limitation thingajigger going on here or something I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Why do I keep you losing you? No, 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 no. Well, at least I can't really lose you here. You just keep bouncing back and forth between the pipes rather than plopping down a hole. Uh, I think this is where I went down, so that is the spot that I'm going to move for. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Tasty, delicious salad with teeth. I've always wanted to have a salad with teeth. Anyway, this level is now complete. Yeah. Oh, and obviously I am aiming to find all the exits as well, and I do believe that I got all the stuff in here, so Mole Ruins number two is next. Oh yeah. Get into the beat. Hit a Koopa. Follow it. Oh! Uh, I thought this was a spot that you could um, get a one-up off of. Maybe it's a little bit later in the level. Hold on. Just gotta try and despawn the other one. There we go. Just wanted because it's kind of difficult to get it. Uh, no, no, maybe this isn't the spot that I'm thinking of. It must be some other level that has a, a cornucopia of lives that you can get. Uh, but there are uh, power ups and. St oh, I was off screen! It didn't work because it was off screen. Uh, yeah, blocks are solid as a rock when you are. Um, when you throw something at them and they're partially off screen for some reason. I guess it's because they haven't fully spawn or they despawn off the screen or something like that you know their their traits you know I'll oh shoot their attributes and I am really sucking here but hopefully I'll be able to get the hang of this you know get, get the hang of the Super Mario World mechanics again you know the feel of it uh, soon enough before the levels get to death <laughs> and I do mean death because the levels really really do get hard in this sucker so yeah, I'm gonna really have to push hard if I want to uh, play through this game entirely save stateless. Hopefully I'll be able to do it though. <laughs> I'm a pretty persistent person, so yeah, there's a good chance that I will be able to. Anyway, no, 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 no. I would like to... I jumped too early. <laughs> you know what, maybe I'll just use your platform. Your platform is here. Yeah, just hijack it. 
get moving. Just forget about the plant jumping shenanigans. Oh yeah. That's how things work in the Mario world. Uh, this is a more difficult formation, but I'm pretty sure I can handle it. There we go. Uh, oh, guess I should have gotten on the platform to hit that, but whatever, whatever, I'm fine. <laughs> no, oh, he's a little bit late at doing his peace sign at the at the end of the song there. Next level, Koopa Lake number one. Now we're already sort of kind of changing worlds here. That was pretty fast. <laughs> And there's no castle at the end of the world. It's, oh, this is the Koopa spot that I was thinking of before. What you do is you throw a shell sort of slowly and... Oh, shoot, you jumped over it, you tricky devil. And you, yeah, you keep following it for one-ups and I kind of failed to follow it all the way there because I wanted to check the boxes, but yeah, it's, it's fine. I've got 17 lives already. <laughs> the early game is pretty generous with the lives, probably because they know... Watch, well, see, he knows. It's going to destroy you. Much, much later on. <laughs> so they're letting you accumulate a stock full of lives, I suppose. <laughs> now we got some moving platforms of doom with crossfire bullets this early in the hack. Yeah, that, <laughs> that should give you a uh, pretty good indicator of the difficulty that will come later on. <laughs> because if we're already getting advanced level obstacles like crossfire bullets you can pretty much guess what later stuff is going to be like in terms of level de level design um fun fact for you the initial game i mean the initial version of this game um had i mean was basically uh kaizo level video gaming difficulty so the, the remake greatly toned down the difficulty and by greatly toned down i mean made it so that you can play through it save stateless, but it's still incredibly difficult to do so. <laughs> so, yeah. I know I've been talking about the difficulty a lot here, but just sort of giving you a primer as to how this game is overall, uh, I guess, in this initial part. While I go through the easy stuff, because, you know, later stuff I'll be really concentrating on uh, just surviving. <laughs> So yeah, these are fuzzies by the way, they are not the fuzzy spore kind unfortunately, but or I should say maybe it's fortunately because uh, I kind of had a fuzzy spore addiction and yeah, I'm not afraid to admit it, not afraid to admit it and I'm trying trying to kick that and it's, it's still a battle even though I haven't done fuzzy spores in a good hour and we're done with the level. <laughs> Victory dance! I should say victory stride behind the text. And now let's go over to the Lakeside Castle. Castles in this game have two exits, so be on the lookout for them. Um, you also need to know the trick on how to get back into a castle, because if you didn't know in the original Super Mario World, there is a thing where you have to, uh, I mean, where you can't go back into castles unless you use. A little trick and I think this is actually the side path that I'd like to explore first I think it's got yeah, a dragon coin uh, um, a mushroom power up but yeah um, uh, there's a thing that it locks you out of castles when you defeat them in the original Super Mario World and the same with this here but they teach you the trick a little bit later on um, via a text box I think I think it is, my feet did not touch the edge like I thought I was going to. That's fine, that's fine. Still getting the hang of uh, ye old Mario uh, world controls here, so yeah, it's it's forgivable, especially with 18 lives, so yeah. But uh, anyway, as I was saying about the, how they teach you it, it's uh, they something, something that's shown later on and then you have to go back to levels initially if you didn't know that trick. But since I already know the trick, I'm just going to do the levels um, as I go. So, yeah, I, th I think that would be best for organization purposes in this walkthrough. So, yeah, let's, let's you know, be more, a little be more careful here. <laughs> just, you know, lava's hot, if you didn't realize that it's a one-hit kill, so you probably don't want to fall into it. And by the way, I need a feather for the secret exit of this place. So I, I best keep this as best I can. 
Well, that was short-lived. <laughs> this door is uh, pretty intimidating to go in. <laughs> Come on, I'm, I'm pressing up. There we go. I made it inside. Somehow. <laughs> Um, it's not that big of a deal because there's another feather here and um, I can do a start select trick once I beat the level to save my power-ups. Um, like what you can do is you complete the level and after you complete a level you're able to uh, just hit, uh, start to pause the game and select to exit out of it and you'll actually be able to keep your power-ups and stuff like that. So yeah. Woo! <laughs> Go, get out of here. Get. Stop. Shoot. Uh, thwomps. It's, it's, they're pretty easy to get a, get around when you just like jump over them like that, but I couldn't do that before, uh, because you know, there was like the ceiling in the way, and yeah, so I wasn't really able to show that before, and there was also that door incident. <laughs> Midpoint! Oh yeah! Ooh, we've reached the castle interior. I'm gonna sort of cheat this coin. But I can't get all the way up there, can I? <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. Uh, dry bones, you can actually kill them off by spinning uh, spinning your cape in this game, so you don't have to worry about them infinitely respawning. In fact, you can even do it to them like that there. So that's uh, um, a mechanic that you could probably put to good use on those tricky situations where dry bones just keep respawning in a tight area and you're waiting for something and such. So yeah, keep that stuff in mind if you have a cape. And also, capes pretty dang broken in general by the way so <laughs> uh capes are pretty nice to have on hand anyway it's a lot of two by two square blocks that make up this castle okay it's more than that but <laughs> i'm just seeing a lot of that um here and i thought i would uh, thought i would make a mention of that uh, oh, oh. and yeah i think these thwomps are most certainly easier to uh bypass when they're when they're down on the ground rather than trying to run underneath them for obvious reasons and uh you can switch power-ups by the way by hitting the select button but i'm gonna conserve my i was gonna say i'm gonna conserve my feather but that didn't work out well <laughs> i forgot that it it overwrites power-ups and yeah oopsie doodle <laughs> i was i got too used to the super mario bro New Super Mario Brothers controls. Anyway, we've got we've got Iggy, a classic boss, and he's basically the same old Iggy except he's reskin. I win. <laughs> All right, now for that secret exit, I'm gonna need to get a feather, so I'm probably just gonna go play up to uh, that feather we seen earlier, and then uh, start select from there. You're welcome, Iggy. Woo! Iggy Koopa, guardian of the mole ruins, is defeated. Mario must now climb up the Monty Mon Monument in order to reach his next destination, which is the Flower Plateau. Sounds good to me. I guess Mario knows the way, or, or something like that. <laughs> anyway, now for the trick on the castles. Hold L and R, well, in either direction and you'll automatically go back into the castle. Voila! Like you can either, you can press L and R or R and L both at the same time, whatever. That's you can just do that, it'll work, it'll be awesome. You can re-enter castles, works in the original Super Mario World as well, so you don't have to restart your save file or something like that to replay castles. Very, very nice trick. Anyway, I want a feather. There it is. That's what the Justin was looking for. Now I paused, start select, and now we go back in. The secret exit, well I should say the path to the secret exit starts right at the start. Woo! There we go. <laughs> yeah, that, as you can see, there's like a little sort of kind of ledge near the top. I think that's the hint about this because yeah you see like the texture of the blocks stops at the top like you can you can tell um this tall one here uh when it gets to the top it gets lighter so it's it's like implying that there is something potentially up there so yeah i think that is the hint that they were going for and anyway let's fly Woo! Oh, nothing there 
need to go down that pipe, but mm, mm, okay, nothing there. Just wanted to look around to see. Unless there's like a hidden block somewhere around here, you never know. Oh, what is this? It's the portal from the title screen. What if I jump in it? <gasps> oh, oh, spooky! I've unlocked the path to a portal which sort of kind of changed colors there. Which I'm not going to do right now. <laughs> I'm going to save those things for... Uh, once I get all those unlocked, because they lead to sort of like the special world, and I like to do them all at once for the sake of organization. So I'm gonna go over to the next level in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.